Chengdu in southwest China is in a race against time. As the hub of China's western region, the city must keep growing. But the more Chengdu builds, the more the city's economy and environment strain under the burden. Recently, residents have started doubting the government's promise that today's trouble for tomorrow's convenience is worth the constant traffic jams and worsening pollution. Regardless of people's reservations, construction in Chengdu is not ending anytime soon. Chengdu already has two metro lines. Three more are currently under construction and will start running by 2015. Another five lines, including extensions, are scheduled to be in operation by 2020. An elevated addition to the second ring road is the most intrusive project, backing up traffic for blocks all across the city. Although construction should be finished by late June, city officials have said that they will start on the first ring road right afterwards. Most of the scorn is heaped upon Chengdu's party secretary, Huang Xinchu. He is pushing for all of these projects to be completed as soon as possible, earning him the nickname Huang Wawa, meaning Digger Huang. But laying the blame squarely on Secretary Huang might be a bit unfair. Much of the construction around Chengdu was planned long before he took over in 2011. In fact, Chengdu's infrastructure projects are part of a larger plan that hinges on the Tianfu New City, a 1,500 square kilometer chunk of land that extends an hour south of the city center. The project that best represents Chengdu's many obstacles is the New Century Global Center located within the Tianfu New City. The Global Center will be the largest building in the world at 1.7 million square meters of floor space, including a massive artificial beach. However, the center is now linked to a major corruption scandal. Li Chuancheng, Deputy Party Secretary of Sichuan Province, is being investigated for corruption and his long-standing ties to the Global Center's developer, Deng Hong. Hong, questioned recently by investigators, has disappeared from the public eye, and publicity touting the Global Center has been noticeably reduced. The government's slogan for the two decades' worth of construction is, today's trouble for tomorrow's convenience. But patience is wearing thin among residents here. With today's increasingly high pollution and corruption, two decades may be too long to wait for tomorrow's convenience. <laughs>